Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. It's time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. Yeah, their stock is just not rebounding like they thought it would with the Bob Iger announcement. Yeah, everybody thought that they were going to bring in Bob Iger and uh, some Disney magic was going to happen, that the stocks were going to skyrocket. There is not enough Disney magic to save the company that quickly. There is not. And we're going to talk about this because... Uh, even even the rap, Scott Mendelson, remember how much he used to like Disney? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Scott Mendelson is even calling it out. He's turned to the dark side. He's turned to the dark side. He's he's saying that the uh, the bump from Bob Iger returning has already evaporated. Yeah, I did an article today, too, and talking about this because I kept seeing the stock keeps going down. And there are lots of reasons I think this is happening. One, the main one being that I think people and the media covering it are starting to catch on that, hey, you know, some of the problems that the company has is because of Iger. Yes. Yeah. And they've, they've said that. They've said as much. I mean, there, there have been multiple articles. Welcome to the party. Multiple articles saying that Bob Iger basically set the company up for failure. And then he put. I don't up, think it was intentional. Uh, well, no. I mean, getting the company in debt and everything yeah, was. Yeah. But um, yeah. And now they're like, oh, hey, Bob's going to come back and save us all. And then we're going to turn it over to Christy McCarthy. Well, that's just it. They're, like the people that they have that are the potential replacements, I don't think, you know, have there's much confidence in them either. No. no. So we're going to talk about that. But before we get into it any further. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Almost 283,000 subs. Thank you for the support. Check out piratesandprincesses.net. That's. Uh, Geeky's theme park blog, Objective Disney News. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, you were talking about this earlier today. Mm -hmm. And uh, did you go out to the, uh, was it the rap article? No, I didn't actually. I just wrote this on, on my own. I didn't. Wow. Okay. I didn't. I mean, I used other articles that we had talked about prior yeah. to link in to, to do what I said, but most of it was what I said. So let's go to the rap article and see what they say. Okay. And then we can see what I said because I didn't actually compare uh maybe scott mendelson ripped you off Who no because his date was the day before me okay so anyway uh this is coming from well yahoo via the rap uh disney stock which initially spiked as much as 10 percent on the day after Iger's reappointment and climbed as high as 99.43 in the days after closed wednesday at 92.15 yep. it's now at 92.55 on thursday just 35 cents more than 91.80 closing price on November 18th. Chapek's final workday as chief executive. So it's not really having much of an impact. Uh, no, it did initially, but it, it wore day, off yeah. like very quickly. Uh, Disney is in the midst of a generational transition in how it produces and distributes media, said the Motley Fool. This development comes with plenty of questions as achieving streaming profitability is still a key concern. How will Iger get there? What will he do differently than okay. Chapek? Well, what, the one thing I want to point out early on, which I don't know if they're going to mention it or not. Today was the day they were going to start the pay, advertised, you know, advertising tier where you pay seven ninety nine, which Disney was Disney Plus. Was yeah, that? hold on. Right, the Disney Disney Plus. Now their seven ninety nine ad supported tier was what the price of their regular tiers were before. So they're going to start the ad supported tier. What's interesting to me is I honestly thought we'd see a potentially see a bump today up uh, uh, because that was that was kicking in and they're yeah. looking at it as a way, oh, we're going to offset some of the costs by having advertisers. I also said in the article but people might pull to subscriptions because with the ad supported tier comes higher price tiers for everybody who doesn't want ads at the same time. People might cut the cord. So I expect it to be some kind of bump and there really isn't one. And I mentioned that in my article today. I don't know if they mentioned it here, but I mentioned it. Uh, well, uh, you know, I'm just I'm just going to speculate why there isn't because right now advertising is in the gutter. Yeah. And so they're probably looking at this like, wait, they're going to bank on ads and ads are down like right. 30, 40 percent. Well, that and the fact that, you know, the, instead of like other places are doing ad supported tiers, but they're lowering the price for that tier. Yes. Disney yes. kept their standard tier that price and then raised everybody else's tiers. So if you want the advertise, the cheapest tier they have is the advertising tier, but it's the same price as what Disney Plus was before they turned it on. Yeah, so they're talking about uh, Iger being more in line with keeping prices lower to serve as a different. Well, that, that is true, and that's what people are banking on and hoping for is that he does walk it back. I want to point out, though, Genie Plus was Iger. Yes. Yeah, a lot of this stuff was Iger. I mean, we have commented before on the fact that Disney has been – uh, trying to land those whales. Uh, they want... Uh, that was under Iger it started. That, yeah, it started back like 2016, 2017. They started offering like ridiculous 
uh, exclusive experiences and events and, uh, you know, all the dessert parties and all the... Uh, like the tents in, in uh, Tomorrowland. The tents in Tomorrowland, the cabanas, the $1,000 a day cabanas. All this stuff was under Iger. Right. And, and the Gal- Galactic Star Cruiser was greenlit under Iger. The Star Wars going down the shithole was, gar- was greenlit under Iger. And he had George Lucas's treatments and he basically wiped his rear and flushed him down the shithole. Yeah, so... That's all they said? That was their reasons? That was their reasons. That's all of it? Uh, They said, yeah, the reason that Bob Iger's return to Disney inspired much excitement and interest uh, originally, but it said, however, the proof will indeed be in the pudding after Blinken, you missed it, honeymoon, it will be the choices, plans, and execution over the long haul. Right. So basically, they're all like, hey, the stock went up the first day it was announced he was coming back, and then it went down. We don't know why. Okay, let's see what I have so to let's, say. So let's have geeky. Okay, here's what I said. Now, I didn't even see that they had done that article. Here, here was the stock earlier this morning when I read this article, which was actually went up before 10, so before the stock market opened up. So I had it that it was down to 92.15. Mm-hmm. That's where it was this morning. So it did go up a little bit, but like not very much. Yeah. Um, I mentioned the fact that they could be, I mentioned here, look about the ad support, Disney Plus tier. Mm-hmm. I mentioned that in there. I said they could be seeing a drop because people were reminded that the choices that negatively impacted the company were bought from Bob Iger to begin with. And after Iger got brought back in, the media was quick to report about, well, not as quick as we were, but they were, they started mentioning, hey, a lot of the things that put the company in this position in the first place was Bob Iger. Yeah. So maybe that's not the best choice. I mentioned that. I said some of the things he did. You know, I, um, we're talking about Genie Plus. Genie Plus, which is now up to like 30 bucks a day sometimes. Oh, some yeah. of the lightning lanes, yeah. like $25, $30 a lightning lane. And um, also, they're getting sued for Genie Plus, by the way. There's a lawsuit about patent infringement that apparently Disney knew it was patent infringement, according to the lawsuit as well. Oh, boy. Um, yeah. So there's that. The price buy them out. Um, they're talking about how, you know, he, he ruined Star Wars. He basically acted like we don't have to advertise Star Wars. Yeah, he did. People forget that. They're like, Bob Iger was so arrogant. He thought he that. He said it. Yeah, he's like, hey, we're just going to say we're open and it's going to be busy. And it was a colossal failure in Disneyland at first. Now, all the cuts to the Galaxy's Edge, which might have made it more impressive, were under Iger. But that was also Chapek as he was in charge of parks at the time. But Iger would have been the one who, who you know, you know, greenlit that. You know, Iger's the one who went along with Kathleen Kennedy and they pivoted and it actually came out. There was an Imagineer who said our original plan for Galaxy's Edge was it was going to be based on the original trilogy. Right. And then Kathleen Kennedy worked on Bob Iger. And then, and then they, they ch- and Iger changed, changed it. it, which we have a video on that if you go yes, look. Yes, yes. Um, he overpaid on Fox. He paid $71.8 or $3 billion. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Um, he way overpaid for that. And then what happened is they, they kind of re- you know depleted the money they had on hand. So when they wanted to start the streaming services and the pandemic hit, they were more strapped because they overpaid for Fox. Um, then you have NBC Universal is kicking Disney's ass, which we're seeing in all the media too now. We see the media covering all the Bob Iger issues. We also see the media covering all the information about um, NBC Universal beating Disney their own game and animation yes. and and probably theme parks because we know now we have a release date for Epic Universe all these things are working against Disney because Universal is going to is coming for them they're kicking their mm-hmm. butt currently and they're going to continue to do so so that's probably making people be like oh you know, let's wait and see. Yeah. Then we have the succession rumors like, oh, Christine McCarthy, who staged the coup and is probably like, oh, she's the next in line. She's another money person. It's going to be Bob Chapek 2.0. Yeah. She's the one who said, you know, hey, you know, let them eat cake. Let, you know, we'll shrink the portion sizes because they're, they'll are they be happy because their waistlines will thank us because basically implying they're fat. Yep. And you had Chapek calling pass holders undesirable mix. You know, these people are not smart. And she was part of that. The other people they have is Dana Walden, um, who I think was one of the ones that was pushing diversity and inclusion. Alan yep. Bergman, Josh Demaro, and Rebecca Campbell are ones that are cons- possibly up. The people they did have, though, was like Staggs and Mayer. And they went to go form their own media company, which... Uh, Candle know, Media. Billions of dollars. Which uh, which works with, with... I think they acquired Moonbug, which is places like Coco Melon, yeah. Blippi, and Little Baby, Baby Bum. All huge. Little baby. It's, little, it's big. All these little things. Little baby bum is big. It is. They have that. So why would they come back? You know, so we don't know. And then and then when you ask Iger, he's given very vague responses about what he's going to do to fix the situation. Yeah. So I think it's, it's, it's going to take a while. I mean, you can't fix this overnight, obviously. No. But you can't expect the stock to, to bounce back overnight, obviously, too. You know? Yeah. It's, I mean, this is... It, People had unrealistic expectations. I think even the changes to the company are going to be slow going. Because it has to be. It's it's a, it's the Titanic. It takes a long time to turn it around, right? Well, you're going to have to finesse this thing because you can't just like go and start making big changes because it's just going to sink the whole thing. 
You can't just like shove something real big into. You have to. You have to make it. Finesse. Why do you have to do that? And what I, are you talking? And then about? I'm helping. No, I just, I just, without thinking, just jump right in there. Like, right, you have to, like, you know, stretch it slowly. And I'm like, no, what is wrong with me? You have, you are what's wrong with me. You have to work your way up to it. You know, uh, Disney's been through a lot. Disney can take a lot, but you have to work your way up to it. That's, that's where we're going. take Iger again. They need to work their way up to it. They need to work their way up to it. Bob Iger. I love you, but you always do this. Anyway, uh, well, if it's not you, it's me. It's one of us to go there. Yeah, so we're going to wrap. too easy. We're going to wrap this up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.